What's up, y'all? This is Boxing Mind TV, man. With another video. This video, man, I want to talk about Errol Spence coming out saying he want that rematch. He want to bring it back. You know what I'm saying? Run it back with uh, Sean Porter for another match, man. Um, the first fight was classic. And it was it was a back and forth matchup, man. And for Errol Spence to come back and say he wants to rematch, man, shows the 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 alpha dog in him, man. Like he wants to separate himself from the pack. Cause he didn't necessarily do that in the first fight. You know, Sean Porter hanging in there with him. He didn't uh separate himself from the pack from the rest of the welterweights. Okay, every every welterweight that has fought Sean Porter, whether it whether it's a win or loss on Sean Porter end, it was always a tough fight, close fight. And um, for Earl Prince to separate himself from the pack, he had to dominate Sean Porter, and he didn't do that. So it's, it's saying a lot that he wants to run it back. Because usually most, most people that fight Sean Porter is like, all right, I won this fight. The people that won, won against Sean Porter, like Kim, Keith Thurman and um, Kell Brook, once they won that fight, they didn't want to do a rematch with Sean Porter right away. They don't want not not the next fight. Maybe you know they want to go to the next fighter, the next uh, not next fighter, but next matchup. You know, kind of you know get away from Sean Porter. They don't want to run it back in you know, the back-to-back matchups with Sean Porter because that's the, they know that fight is tough. Either way you either way you um, go with it, where you go with it, the next fight or you go with it the, the go with it the, um, um, a year from now. You know, Sean Porter still gonna be around and he's still gonna give you a tough fight because he trains hard. Um, his and his endurance is is up there <laughs> at the top can compete with anybody in the, in, the, in the division and his uh his volume his punch output is tremendous you know what i'm saying is up there uh one of the top top in, the, in in boxing right now you know the punches that he throw each round so for l sprints to come back and say that man is a lot and then and then errol spence uh errol spence wants to prove himself uh, continue to prove himself as the best welterweight in the division. You know, um, he's he's fighting elite fighters now. You know, Sean Porter is one, is one of the elite fighters, and um, he's doing right by bringing this back. Now, whatever this 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 fight does on pay per view, the first fight, the second fight is gonna do more. Especially you know, running it back like that. You know what I'm saying? Like it's still fresh in everybody's mind, and he's gonna. You know, um, hopefully they can come to a come to an agreement. It should be able to come to an agreement and make this fight happen sometime early next year. And everybody will tune in and watch, knowing how great the first one was. This one's gonna be, you know, even better. And everybody's gonna probably wanna, you know, pay for it because the first the first fight we got our money's worth all the way. We got our money's worth. So if they do this again, it will, it will probably it will probably crack up a million. You know what I'm saying? If it doesn't. If it hasn't already, I don't think it has already. I don't think it has already. I don't think the numbers, when the numbers come out for this pay-per-view numbers, I don't think it's gonna crack a million. But the next one will. I believe the next one will will crack a million because it's two great fights. I mean, two great fighters, and um, um, two great fighters coming in together, and they're giving us the people what they want. You know what I'm saying? Bringing boxing back, giving us competitive matchup, the best fighting the best. So you can't go wrong with that at all. You know what I'm saying? It's something that, uh, if this happens, it reminds me of something that should have happened with Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder. After the first fight, it was, you know, a lot of people streamed it, you know what I'm saying? But it still made, how much would it make? I think it was 400K. I think it was 400K by pay-per-view buys. But a lot of people, it was told that a lot of people streamed it, means that people streamed it. So, just imagine if they would have ran it back, you know, when everybody had it fresh in their mind about the fight. It, that fight could have made, you know, could have cracked a million. You know what I'm saying? So, so what Errol Spence is doing, and 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 trying to run it back with Sean Porter, and Sean Porter is, is in agreement. He's, he he responded back on his social media that he's a machine and he's ready when never Errol Spence is ready. So these two gladiators are ready to go at it again to give the fans what they want. You can't go wrong with that, man. I appreciate it, man. Them boys, um, them boys are true. Uh, True fighters, man. Real fighters, man. They they ready to lay it, lay it on the line again, and and give us what they want. Cause last last fight, nothing. They 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 stock rise. It didn't it didn't decrease. You know what I'm saying? Win or loss, whether uh, you know Errol Spence won and uh, uh, Sean Porter lost, his stock was still up there. He didn't he did he still was a, uh, you know his um his um 
his stock didn't he, he he didn't lose nothing he didn't lose no value let's say that he didn't lose no value his value if anything it, it increased because he 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 showed the fans that he gonna come and fight no matter what you know what i'm saying he gonna lay it on the line he's not afraid of nobody you know he's gonna throw punches he's not gonna try to uh, uh survive and that's what he did you know what i'm saying i appreciate him from, for that man both of them coming out and giving us what what we want to see so and I know in my last video I talked about you know Errol Spence not not training like a champion you know taking it serious you know when he posted that he was 20 pounds uh, heavy heavier heavier than the, than, than the, the weight than the uh, what's weight division when he started weight camp when he started uh, camp so it was like probably like close to 180 180 pounds when he started uh, camp and he had to try to lose all that he don't, he don't have an, a, a, a strength and conditioning coach you don't have a nutritionist, you know, all this stuff, you know what I'm saying, that he should have as a champion. Uh, I don't know if he's doing that yet, but on his on, on uh, his trainer social media, he's showing that, you know, El Spence is already in the gym. He's already in the gym training. And I'm pretty sure Sean Porter's going to be doing the same thing, you know what I'm saying. Um, getting, back in, getting back in the gym training, you know, staying on weight. So come next training camp, all, all you're working on is technique, and strategy to win the fight you know not not focusing on losing weight you know what i'm saying you stay in discipline stay in a, a fighter year round and that's what you should do if you want to be a champion stay at this level you know that's what floyd mayweather did that's what andre ward did and that's why they was on top for so long um seems like tans crawford is doing the same thing but he hasn't fought any uh, top 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 fighters yet as far as in the 47 uh 147 division the welterweight division so We'll have to see how this unravels, but I'm excited that, you know, these guys want to fight each other and they made making it known that they want the rematch. And, um, hey, I'm ready for it, man. I'm ready to see it, man. Ready for, ready, ready, to see it. And um, these guys are um, showing us what the sport is all about. You know, the best fighting the best, not backing down. And, um, you know, bringing more Norat. Nor nor <laughs> sorry. Bringing notoriety to um to uh to, to boxing a little bit more, and so I'm happy to see that, and I hope I hope it happens soon. Hope they make the announcement, maybe uh two months from now, or whatever. Make the announcement, however, however they want to do it, but make make it known that um, you know they want to fight each other. I know Danny Garcia is gonna be salty because he came he came on the ring, wanted to fight uh call it not Errol Spence. But nah, man, you, you you ain't gonna get this, man. Before, you know, you, a lot of you guys didn't want to fight Errol Spence, you know, for whatever reason. So um, now you don't get it. You don't get to dictate when to fight him. You know, so you're gonna have to wait, go fight. Danny Garcia either go should go fight Pacquiao. Uh, he still got some options to go fight Pacquiao. Maybe go fight Terence Crawford. Give give Terence Crawford a name to fight. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, Sean Porter was recently heard that he wanted a rematch. He either one before Errol Spence responded. He said he want to rematch with either uh, Errol Spence or he want to fight Terrence Crawford. You know, um, that's coming from um, his dad, Kenny Porter. So, so they was both looking at that. So I'm just like, you know, if Sean Porter is willing to go fight Terrence Crawford, then Garcia should, should go, should go fight uh, Terrence Crawford. And I believe they got, I believe they have history in the amateurs fighting each other. So let's make it happen. You know what I'm saying? Let's get Terrence Crawford a name to fight, and then. Um, then if Terrence Crawford were to win with, with Danny Garcia, that's going to help out the build up for the Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford fight, you know, in the future, if they stay, if they both stay unbeaten. But in, as we've seen in the weight division, when they're fighting the best, these fights are close. It can go either way. You know what I'm saying? Anybody can lose. So we we all, we are like in the golden age of, of the welterweight division, you know, the Leonard H Hagler, Leonard Hagler Hearns, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Aaron Pryor. It's like, top fighters in in, 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 these, in these divisions very skilled fighters you know um anybody can win you know it all, all depends on you know, who's gonna be who's gonna make the less mistakes you know what i'm saying in each uh fight who's gonna land the, the shots you know what i'm saying who's gonna be able to get the shots in and, and 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 block these shots and dodge these shots on time so uh i'm excited i'm, I'm like i like the where where everything's going right now in the boxing right now you know um guys are fighting the best and i'm just you know just gonna watch it as it goes you know what i'm saying watch how this goes and 
see what happens man but i'm excited about this uh about them talking about the about rematching each other and after a grueling fight like that usually people just like all right i'm gonna take a break and i'm gonna fight you know a couple more fights and then a couple more tune-ups like tyson fury uh get him a couple tune-ups before i fight wilder again on some pushy shit so i like i like what uh aerosmith is doing he's showing the alpha dog in him and um sean porter not backing down he still want that smoke he, you know and he was almost you know he did well in that fight you know if he didn't get knocked down um you know in a lot of people's eyes you know he probably could have won the fight you know uh regardless of what the judges said you know what i'm saying he probably could have won that fight to a lot of people's eyes he probably he probably he would have still lost the fight on the cards you know seeing what the judges had he still would have lost the fight on the cards but in a lot of people's eyes he, he he would have felt like he he won and would have been considered probably maybe a possible robbery or not robbery just a close fight you know some people thought he won some people thought Errol Spence won being like that but I think with a knockdown solidified that Errol Spence won the fight so with that said a rematch will be a, another exciting matchup um and I can't wait to see it so um like comment subscribe let me know what y'all think about this uh rematch talk between Errol Spence and Sean Porter and um it's Boxing Mind TV and I'm I'll be back with another one